to Major Persuasion here at the NAWTQ here in uh, Pittsburgh. Here with our boys, Portal, Slim, Where with who and what did you do today, bro? Uh, so I'm Matt Shomish. I'm at Top 32 at the NAWCQ with Sal Mangrates. With Salad Boys. All right, man. Let's go and get in there after looking at your nice little face. All right, so I played Salad because I felt like it was the most consistent deck, and I there was a lot of rounds, so I wanted to do well most of the time. So we played Standard, Sal Mangrate Monsters for the most part, three Spinny, three Gazelle, three Foxy, maximizes consistency, uh, one Falco, one Jaguar, and two Foul. So we played two Foul because it was good going first and going second. If you draw going first, it's essentially a second trap card because you're guaranteed to be able to make Tornado Dragon or Abyss Dweller, whatever you want to make in terms of rank four. Uh, and it also frees up your Gazelle to dump something other than a rank four if you're trying to make a Dweller play. Uh, going second is really good too because if your opponent answers your initial normal summon, but this is already on the field as well, you can still make more plays. Uh, then I also played Debug. Some people say this card's bad, but it's just one card play starter, so you got to play it. It maximizes your chances of, of being able to play the game. Uh, then we play three copies of Effect Failure for Hand Traps, uh, two Ghost Ogre, three Ash Blossom, and three Phantasmi for the monster hand traps. Yeah, a lot. And that was it for the monsters. Not sure exactly how many it is, but it's quite a few. Was Ogre good? Ogre was pretty good, yeah. So I decided to main deck Ogre because I wanted 14 hand traps. I knew that that was the number I wanted to guarantee that I see some way to disrupt the Orcus combo or just other decks in general. Uh, it's really good in the mirror match if you hit like the Gazelle when it's first summoned, because most of the time it'll just end their play unless they have Will or some other extender. Um, it's also really good, obviously, against Debug. You know, before Debug was at one, that was the big thing, Ogre, Debug, and the turn. Um, um, and then it's really good against Striker, hitting multi-rule, obviously. Uh, and it seems dead against Orcus, but sometimes, like, if you draw it, you just Ogre when they activate the Mermaid effect, and then they have to start their play with one monster, which means sometimes they can't make Rusty. Uh, spell cards, three copies of Circle, three copies of Sign at Mining. Again, maximizing consistency. This is technically not a one-card play starter, but it pretty much is. Uh, one copy of Sanctuary, because you need to play it. Two copies of Pot of Desires. Uh, so you'd think this would conflict a lot. I'm only playing one Jaguar, you've got Sanctuary. So I didn't really use it as a, as a play finder, I use it more of a play extender. Um, so if you just have Gazelle or any of the one card play starters, you're able to get the field spell and Jaguar out of your deck already, which means everything else you're playing has multiples and you're, you're not worried about uh, losing the access to those cards. And it just helps you draw into hand traps when going first. Also helps you draw into your side cards, games two and three. Uh, and then trap cards, three copies of Infinite Impermanence. Like I said, 14 hand traps was a good number. Uh, I felt like effect negation. Stopping the Orcus combo was critical when going second. Uh, and then I played two copies of Rage and one copy of Roar. Again, I was somewhat playing to go first with Pot of Desires, so drawing any of these cards was really good. I felt that this card was better than this card in most matchups. Uh, this was only really optimal to send, in my opinion, games like two and three if you think they might bring in evenly or some kind of massive comeback mechanic. Uh, and that was it for the main deck. 40 cards? 40 cards. Uh, and then extra decks, pretty standard. Three copies of Baylinx, three copies of Sunlight Wolf, two Heat Leo, one Phoenix, one Heat. One Boral Sword. That was the rank four I chose to play just because it could end the game. I only summoned it once, but it did end the game, so I guess it was worthwhile. Uh, and then I played one Stalio. I played Tornado Dragon for rank four, and then I played two copies of this. Oh my God. Yeah, no, no. This this tilts people. So second dweller. The second dweller tilts people. Yeah, especially since you purposefully mismatch the rarities just so they get extra. <laughs> so yeah, so I played two dweller. Uh, it's really good because if you make it against Orcus, they have to play really awkwardly, and if you establish the second dweller, even if you can't kill them, which you, you can kill them with Boral Sword a lot of times, but sometimes it's just safer to make the dweller. Um, the thing about dweller I saw a lot of people misplaying this weekend is. Um, um, if you just shotgun the Dweller's effect when your opponent starts their turn, they could have drawn into Gamma or Impermanence. So I was holding the Dweller until they summoned a monster or activated a card to decrease my chances of that getting negated. Because this blanket effect just turns off Orcus' entire turn. Um, I did have one match, I think it was round 8 or 9 where I made a Dweller against Orcus, and he outed the Dweller, he outed the board, and then at the end of his turn, I'm just like, bro, what would, what would you do if I told you I played the second Dweller? And he's just like, you don't. I revealed it from my extra deck, and he scooped. I couldn't, oh, I couldn't no. even make the Dweller the next game, so if you're watching this, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> you do play two Dwellers. Yep, yep. Uh, and then the side deck. We got three copies of Lancia, ends Orcus' turn, ends Thunder Dragon's turn. It's a pretty good card. Three copies of Typhoon. This was my only spell and trap removal aside from the two main deck rage uh, to out something like Mystic Mine, which I did have to play in top 64. 
Um, and then we've got two copies of Anti Spell. Again, good against Mystic Mind, good against Striker, good against Pendulum. I didn't have to play against any Pendulum. Um, then there's no Call by the Graves in the main deck. I only thought it was good when I was going first. So I only brought it in in situations where I was going first and my opponent played a Hand Trap or if it was relevant. Uh, and then we've got three copies of Evenly Matched. It's just a really good comeback card. It's versatile in a lot of matchups. I thought about playing like uh, Mystic Mind just for going second to out the Thunder Dragon board. But fun fact, I actually did not play a single Thunder Dragon Zero. the entire tournament. Zero Thunder Dragons in 14 rounds. No Thunder Dragons. And then the last card in the side deck was one copy of Salaman Great Peril. You can gain 2,000 life points and win in time. So the card's pretty good. Uh, yeah, this card is really good, except uh, the one time that I was in a situation where I was going to be able to use this, I drew it for turn, so I wound up getting a draw. Because you can't, you have to tribute summon this card. I had no other way to special summon a monster to tribute summon this and resolve it. So, um, so this card was actually bad, but in theory it was pretty good. Right, man. Shout out. Uh, so shout outs to uh, all the guys who ditched me who left uh, who left uh, yesterday after dropping. Hell yeah. Uh, shout out, but really shout out to everybody uh, in the Cleveland area. Uh, shout out to my locals, Alt Reality Games. Um, shout out to Arjun Saga, brand new trading card game from Alt Reality Games. I did a lot of play testing with uh, for Hernandez, obviously with Yu-Gi-Oh, but I also was playing a lot of Arjun Saga. So I think just seeing a different aspect helped me play a little bit better. Um, and then also shout outs to uh, Anthony Bonnet, who let me borrow cards. I'm from Nick and uh, that's pretty much it. All right, man. Congrats. Great to have you. Thank you. Thank you.